Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Myself, Dr. Jinu Anthony, specializing in gut and gut related disorders. Whenever we are speaking about the gut, there are two important terms which we use very frequently that is prebiotics and probiotics. So of course you will be knowing about the prebiotics. Today we are going to learn much more about prebiotics. So what are prebiotics? Prebiotics are the non-digestible carbohydrates which act as the food for our gut bacteria. So prebiotics are nothing but they are the fibers, they are the food for our gut bacteria. These prebiotics are digested by the gut bacteria. So the gut bacteria will digest these prebiotics and it is getting converted into short chain fatty acids. So short chain fatty acid as I have mentioned in my earlier videos it acts as a fuel for our colon cells. So what are the major sources of this prebiotics? Some of the foods which contains prebiotics are apple, onion, asparagus, flax seeds, chia seeds, banana, legumes and berries. Even though there are many foods which contains prebiotics, the major source of the prebiotics is the human breast milk. Yes, the human breast milk is blessed with lots and lots of prebiotics including lactoferrin, oligosaccharides and all. So this will act as a food for the bacteria which is already we acquired through the mode of delivery. Plus it will act as a, it contains probiotics also like bifidobacterium, lactobacillus. So this breast milk will act as both prebiotics and a probiotic. So prebiotics are very important for your gut because that is the main food for the gut bacteria. So if at all this bacteria are starving, it can irritate your life like anything. So don't forget to feed your gut bacteria also. Prebiotics is not only considered as a food for our gut bacteria. In therapeutic aspects also, it is used in the treatment protocol for IBS, colitis, autoimmune conditions like psoriasis, ulcerative colitis, Crohn's diseases and all. So friends, I I hope you all got to know about the prebiotics and why it is important to include in our day-to-day -day life. So we'll meet you soon with an another interesting episode. Until then, to know more about our gut and to know about the gut-related disorders, stay tuned with me, subscribe to the YouTube channel, share it with everyone. Thank you.